Early humans may have known something about it, and certainly by the time of having recorded history, medicines that go back about 5,000 years, human beings knew what secrets may have lied in those female cannabis plants, because from that point, we dragged the plant around with us everywhere in the world. And I would rather give credibility to 10,000 years of human use to figure that at least teleologically, it likely works favorably with our genes. The last 30 years or so, we have changed the plant markedly to no longer have the normal balance between different cannabinoids, much less the terpenes. In fact, the most dangerous side effect of cannabis is the fact that uh, it's federally illegal and it's illegal in several states. And it turns out from what we heard earlier today, one of the dangerous side effects is that you might lose your medical license. Now, anybody that wants to talk to me about uh, the medical board, I want to let you know that I sued the medical board of California and won, and it's a published decision. It wasn't easy, and I was fortunate to have a couple of attorneys who worked pro bono. I'm going to be talking about cannabis being more than just a medicine for a qualifying condition. I'm going to talk to you about how, as humans with an endocannabinoid system, we all qualify for cannabis supplementation. Marijuana is safe. We know it's safe, but we will never, ever give it up. It's our cash cow. That's the first thing I heard from Paul Villa Escusa, who is the education coordinator in the Dallas office for the Drug Enforcement Administration when I went to work for them in April of 1998.